Hi there, I'm Cheryl Stibick from Hendersonville, North Carolina, and I'm a stained glass artist and a self-confessed polymer clay addict. I'm one of the guest artists, and this is my ninth year with this wonderfully talented family. I wanna share a little bit about my process and a preview of what I'll have available this weekend. I work mainly in the copper foil method of stained glass. This is the technique Tiffany made famous. So when you hear the term Tiffany style, it actually means the technique, not a specific design style. Each piece of glass is cut and ground, then wrapped in a copper foil tape. The copper foil is what the solder adheres to, and it's what holds the piece together. When you're working on a panel, you never know what it's really going to look like until you can hold it up and see the light coming through. I love going to estate sales, thrift stores, or garage sales and picking up unusual items to add to my stained glass pieces. So this has a glass coaster that I incorporated into this panel. If it doesn't melt when I solder it, it'll find a place in my design at some point. The name of this panel is a play on the old Steppenwolf song and its design features a pressed glass box lid that seems to be shooting through space with its trailing rainbow tail. It has hand cut foil accents and vintage jewels. I call this Tinker Toy because it reminds me of my childhood toy where you played with all these different components to fit them together to create something fun. I love how bright and colorful it is. The swirling design features an open cavity filled with a variety of glass nuggets and is accented with decorative soldering. My little scrapper series of sun catchers are made up from residual pieces of glass from previous projects. I take the scrap pieces and lay them out until I get a pleasing design. It's sort of like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. I do a little selective grinding to get it to fit together, then add nuggets and hand form copper wire. While I'm at the thrift shop searching for pieces to add to my glasswork, I've become enthralled with finding unique or vintage utensils to upcycle with polymer clay. I find pieces from all over the world. They make a fun addition to your dinner table or buffet. First, I build up the handle with the base clay, then I cover it with a veneer of decorative canes that I've created. On the Voorhees Family Art YouTube channel, there is a video you can watch showing in more detail how I cover the utensils. This antique seafood fork is silver plate and it reminded me of Poseidon's trident, so I added a nautilus tail to it. This spoon was stamped with Fort Pitt Hotel on its handle. Research showed that this was once considered one of Pittsburgh's most elegant hotels built in 1905. Some of the guests that stayed at the hotel were William Jennings Bryan, Eleanor Roosevelt, Jack Benny, and Rochester. The hotel was razzed in 1967, but who knows, maybe Eleanor Roosevelt used the spoon when she stayed there. The spoon, this looks like a spoon, but the bowl on it is flattened for easy spreading. So as the name says, it's for spreading jelly, but I think it could be used for any soft cheese, pate, butter, even peanut butter. This mid-century modern knife has markings on it from Chef P. Giovanni. I think it was originally a steak knife, but it's lost its edge, so it works well as a cheese knife. This sleek olive spoon has a slot to drain out any juices before serving. It would be good for anything that has liquid you don't want on your plate, like marinated mushrooms or pickled vegetables. Thanks for watching and supporting your local artists. You can find my work by going to the Voorhees family website and clicking on my name.